Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a long overdue monthly fashion report for November. I kind of dropped off doing them throughout this year because fashion has felt somewhat redundant for most of the year, um, with us all just living in the same clothes, but lots of you asked for these to make a comeback and so here I am doing just that. Uh, because I haven't done one since God knows when, I would think probably March, April at a push, but definitely not later than that. Sorry, Luigi is just having a wild morning. Um, I'm kind of not just focusing on things. I'm not making full sentences here. Normally when I do these videos, I talk through everything that I have got acquired within a month, all the new pieces, talk about what I've been wearing the most, and then sometimes say what I'm not really liking if I've been sent something. Because this is now spanning pretty much six months, um, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to talk about things that I have been wearing a lot. And then from December onwards, when I'm back to doing it on a monthly basis, I can return to doing it the old format of making sure that I'm sharing everything that's new in, talking about it all. Um, but to do that for six months, we would just be here all day. So this is going to be focusing on what I have been wearing the most, um, probably over the past month. So it's all quite wintry stuff, which uh, for most of us is seasonally appropriate. Uh, like the rest of us, I don't really get up to very much at the moment. I go to the shops, I go for a walk, I sit at home, that's about it. And my wardrobe definitely reflects that. I um, am hugely uninspired by clothes. Not just uninspired, I just don't care, is what I would say. Um, I have no... I just don't care. I don't know how else to say that not really interested in what I'm wearing at the moment except it being comfortable and looking nice but not I don't know I go through phases like this anyway but this has been a strong one and it's definitely just because of the general situation we're all in which is absolutely fine and right now I don't think we have to care about fashion or what we're wearing and um, we just need good pieces that we can fall back on that feel nice which is what I have today basically um but it's probably not going to be overly inspiring I'm gonna start off with what have possibly been the most worn item since I got them, which is these Birkenstocks. Um, I've talked about them a few times in vlogs, so I'll keep this relatively brief. I have my normal size, I have a size 40. I can't recommend these enough. They are so comfy. They, I think they look great. They're awful, but they look great. I love how they look. I wear them around the house and also just to nip to the shops, which like I said, is the main thing that I do in a day don't walk very far in them, but just pop out and then pop back in. And they are so good. I love how they look, like I said. I just wear mine around the house with socks. They're not nice to wear without socks is the only thing. They're definitely a sock shoe for me. Um, but they're just great. I, do, everyone needs a pair of these to wear at home. They're kind of the best slippers I've ever had, especially because you can nip outside of them and things as well. And they're just, so comfy and so brilliant. So those were the first thing I wanted to mention. And while we're sticking on the topic of comfortable things, I should go to the very bottom of my pile and pull out these cashmere bottoms. These I've had for over a year. They're from Arquette. Um, they were sent to me and I also have them in a gray color. Um, and I just wanted to really recommend them once more because I realized through the day that I've had them for over a year now um, and they have been washed so many times and they really are not bobbly at all and i mean i these are my most worn comfy trousers so they're being worn loads washed loads they've held their shape really well they are so comfortable and so so soft like i said they haven't bobbled they're 100 percent cashmere well worth the price tag and like i said i didn't buy them myself they were sent to me but i would definitely spend my own money on these they are brilliant and I don't know whether these specific ones are still available but I do know for sure they have some other cashmere bottoms so this is like an overall recommendation that the Arquette cashmere joggers are really bloody good um, and you should definitely treat yourself to a pair to feel very chic and wonderful and comfortable at home and wear them with your felt Birkenstocks. It's a very strong combination and it's what I look like most days. So that's the comfy clothes. Um, Let's talk about coats briefly as well. I It's been really, really cold in London, actually. It's a beautiful day today. I must head out for a walk soon. It's like one of those really frosty, clear skies, blue skies, cold and crisp, lovely winter days. 
Um, the two coats that I have been wearing the most are both two very long, big coats. Um, sometimes I have a love-hate thing with long coats. I always like to have a new one each year that I feel really excited about, but then I get bored of them quite quickly because I find when you wear a big coat, your whole outfit becomes a coat. Everything just gets lost under it. So, I mean, it's kind of more relevant when you're taking photos of your outfit and showing them online, you, you become more aware of how similar things get more quickly. Um, so I had sort of two on rotation, but because I'm not really showing my outfits every day, I'm enjoying wearing them both so, so, so much without worrying about, oh gosh, you're wearing this every single day and it's not inspiring for people because all you see of the outfit is a coat. Um, but I am living in this trench. Uh, again, I've talked about this in a vlog, it's from AF Agar. Um, it's a huge, huge, beautifully oversized, a beige trench coat. It's got really nice detailing on it, like this cord inside the um, collar, this like flappy, fasteny bit. Uh, perhaps the best thing about this coat is the giant breast pocket. Uh, this fits a book in it even, and normally when I head out, I just have sort of keys, phone, money, mask, just in here and nothing else, and you can go hands free. Um, I get a lot of compliments on this coat. It is quite a statement while being so classic, which is so lovely. Mostly a statement because of how oversized it is. And it's just a perfectly done, reworked trench. So it still feels like a classic piece, really easy to wear, really versatile, but just has something a bit different about it in the shape and the cut and everything. So I've been wearing this a hell of a lot. It's probably my most worn coat at the moment but it's not particularly warm because it's just a trench coat. So the other one I've been reaching for a lot is this wool one from Philippa K. This one was sent to me. Um, I love Philippa K so much. And this is more like my chic, fancy lady coat. Um, actually, I must pull a pair of jeans out to talk about because I'm wearing them with my long weekday row jeans and my church's boots a lot. And it feels very chic and very put together. And that's been like my go-to outfit if I am going anywhere where I need to be slightly more presentable than I am most days at the moment. Um, I have this in a size 38 and it's just beautiful. It hangs beautifully. I love the, the cut of the collar on this. You'll be able to see it more in the cutaway than I can show you here, but it's just so, so, so classic. I think it's a wool cashmere mix. Um, I know it's pretty expensive, which, I mean, Philippa K is quite a pricey brand but this is also making me think it must be a wool cashmere mix. Yeah, 90% wool and 10% cashmere. Um, it's it's really warm, it's not lined or anything, but it's still really, really warm. Um, and like I said, it's just sort of my fancy lady coat at the moment. Um, I must just grab those jeans that I just mentioned in passing because they're probably my most worn ones at the moment, which are the weekday row. Hello you, hello you, ow, 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 please stop biting me. Um, which are the weekday row ones in the kind of washed black. Uh, I've been really into longer jeans at the moment, for the most part. Uh, really liking how they look with boots, chunky boots or classic boots, whichever kind of boot you like. Um, but these are the perfect length for that on me. I have talked about these jeans so many times, but I have the leg 32. I'm five foot eight for reference. Um, and they're so nice and high-waisted. They're just great. I've been wearing these so much and they look great with jumpers if you want it tucked in and it's quite nice and fitted around the hips and the waist. Or if you just want to go something really baggy, they also look really good with that as well. Um, but yeah, this with the Philippa Keiko and my church's boots has been a combination that I've been really, really enjoying and feel quite, dare I even say, elegant in. Um, so those are the jeans. I have got one more pair of trousers here. These I've had for um, 18 months more than, probably a bit more than that. They're my Ray wool trousers. Um, and this is a, an item in my wardrobe that I um, come back to all the time. I go through phases of not wearing them, sort of looking at my wardrobe and thinking, oh, you really don't have the ideal pair of cropped tailored trousers and then I pull these out and I'm like hang on a minute yes you do <laughs> um which are these ray wool ones I think I think I'm hoping they still do them if not maybe a variation of them you'll have to check the description box for a link 
The only negative to them is that because they're wool, they really pick up any dust and fluff so badly. Um, but yeah, they are, they, every time I put them on, I'm like, God, the cut of these is so, so, so good. They have like a twisted seam down, down them, which are hem, seam, no seam, twisted seam, which I really like. Um, and they're just kind of the perfect bagginess, but not too baggy, baggy. they're also tailored. Um, they're great and I've been wearing them a lot. I've been wearing them around the house a lot as well because I do make the effort to get dressed every day, even if I'm not doing very much. But that effort has been like these with the Birkenstocks, obviously, uh, with uh, the jumper I'm about to show you next. But that whole combination, I just feel really nice in and like a nice way to sit and get work done. And then if you need to pop out, you can, and you don't feel too slobby. It's just been like my perfect, combination at the moment um so these i definitely wanted to mention once again ray is a hugely oversized brand i have these in a six i would normally be a size eight um so definitely go one size down in ray some of the things i have for ray like their coats i have an extra extra small and they still drown me it is ridiculously oversized if i'm honest it's a bit daft um so that was those the jumpers so my most worn jumper, hands down, is this one from a brand called Riley Studios, which is a London-based brand, which is really nice actually that it's London-based. Um, and they have a huge focus on sustainability as well. And this is one of their reworked cashmere knits. Recycled cashmere, sorry, that was the wrong word. Um, I, they sent it to me in two different colours, this dark grey and also a light grey, but I, this is the one that I've been wearing the most. They are also very, very oversized. I think I have a size, damn, I can't remember what size I've got, which is actually really not helpful. Let me try and find, I have to find the email, whereas, oh no, 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 wait, have we got it here? A size three. I think it starts at a size one. Just look and make, make note, a mental note of the cutaways of how oversized this is on me. It's how long the sleeves are, which might be something you would want to be aware of, especially if you were shorter than me, to possibly go from one size down to normal to whatever this converts as. They're also unisex, so they are all gonna come up quite big. Um, it is so soft and so incredibly warm. Um, they are brilliant. I've washed it so many times as well because it actually has just come out of the wash yesterday because I have been wearing them so much. Um, I love the kind of, marl would you say that the marl effect on it uh which breaks it up really really nicely love wearing them with those weekday jeans like i said um it's just a really really great jumper they come with quite a hefty price tag but i genuinely do think it's worth it i really wholeheartedly recommend them um i've been wearing it so much and the light gray one as well but this one i just slightly prefer um so yeah that was my riley studios knit that was sent to me i said that didn't i um, and another jumper, which is another one that was sent to me as well. It's actually a bit damp because I washed it yesterday. It's just come off the radiator. Uh, is this one from Arquette, which is one of their um, cashmere ones. It's really boring, I would go as far as to say, but just the kind of piece we all need right now. The perfect cut black jumper. It's not as oversized as the Riley Studios one. I would say the Riley Studios, I personally, would struggle to cut, tuck them into jeans without feeling a bit kind of, you know, you're all bunched up and it's not that comfortable. Whereas this is still slightly baggy, but way easier to tuck into jeans and things like that. And if you were going for the more chic look, the Philippa K and the weekday jeans and the church's boots outfit, then this is the kind of jumper you might want to wear with that. And um, I have it in a medium as well. So one size up to normal. This was sent to me from Arquette too. Um, but it's just a really, really, really good black jumper. I feel kind of dull, but we all need a really good black jumper. And this one is getting my seal of approval. That concludes clothes. Oh, that would be hard to say fast 10 times. Um, I've referred to them many a time, so obviously I must now talk about the church's boots. I have two pairs here. My trusty, trusty, trusty ones. I think I've had these for... I bought them the first year I lived in London and I've lived in London for three and a half years now. So over three years. Um, they are still perfect. I actually went into the church's shop in the window that we had where shops were open in, in the UK and 
they that like, polished them up for me so that's a good thing to know that they will do for you if you've got they were pretty they were looking pretty battered and they gave them a good polish so they look so good again um i cannot recommend these boots more they are the best boots i've ever 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 bought uh, any boot i've got another pair of church boots to talk about but any boot that i get since i've had these i like for a time but then just con constantly go back to these they are so comfy they look so good they they're just the best boots ever i would go as far as to say ever 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 um i love them so much i have a 39 you go one size down in churches when you try them on they'll feel really really tight but they do give these are the perfect fit um the sole is just starting to split here um, but th they also offer a resoling service within the shop. So stuff like that isn't the be all end all. It doesn't mean the shoes then have to go away to die. You just take them in and they will do that for you. Um, and that when I had them polished up, they had a look at the sole and they were like, you've got one more winter in that before you need to come back and we'll do it for you. Um, so these are the best. These are my most warm ones. They did gift me some pairs of shoes, which was super exciting. Um, and I got another pair of boots from them these ones with a much 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 heavier tread also in a size 39 they're really lightweight they're actually lighter than these even though they've got that heavy tread because the tread is like squishy foamy almost which makes them really nice and bouncy to walk in um these i'm struggling to break in if i'm honest and that's why i just keep then going back to the older pair which i've already done the work on um, I'm wearing them most days if I'm sort of nipping out somewhere to try and get them broken and they're getting better um, but it has taken a while but I also think it's because my feet are just a bit wimpy at the moment because <laughs> I'm living in slippers most of the time I don't know if other people feel like this I always get it going back into winter when you've worn sandals so much and also when you switch back to sandals just like your feet have to harden up in the right places for different shoes um, anyway I think these look great and they kind of hit the trend of the chunky boot which is everywhere at the moment but in a way that's a bit more classic I don't think these are going to look dated at all but I still recommend the other ones the most um but yeah I've been wearing these a lot and really loving them I've been um switching between the two these are also much better on the days where there's loads of wet leaves on the ground and the whole world is like a big ice rink these are really good for that they're a lot less slippy than the other ones um the third pair of shoes I'm going to talk about that I'm wearing a lot are these from Manolo Blahnik. Uh, these were gifted to me as well. Uh, they really don't look like a pair of Manolo Blahnik shoes. You wouldn't think this is from the brand, which generally tends to be very classic and quite feminine. And then they've done these really nice, chunky, masculine ones in this sort of burgundy oxblood sort of colour. Um, again, I feel like this style of shoe is quite popular at the moment. And I, for one, am loving it. They look great with black socks and crop jeans, they look great with my long jeans, they look great with my ray trousers, they look great with all the things that I've been wearing a lot at the moment. Um, they're actually really bloody comfortable. They rubbed me the first couple of times I wore them, but I've cracked them now and they're really comfy and I can wear them all day if I wanted to. Um, and I just absolutely love them. I like the fact they're a bit different to a brogue, but still kind of masculine and add the same vibe to an outfit i don't really like the word vibe but sometimes it's the only word that i can think of um so yeah these from Manolo blanik i've been wearing a lot um they are beautifully made shoes i've got three pairs of shoes from Manolo blanik now um and they are a really special shoe brand they always craftsmanship's always really lovely on them so the final piece i've been talking solidly for nearly 19 minutes um is a handbag I have been using this Mulberry one a lot. The reason I started using this one again was because it was the bag that I took, oh, I've lost it on my face. It was the bag that I took to Japan last year. Um, and it, that will be exactly a year ago that I was in Japan. So I've been thinking about Japan so much, think about Japan all the time anyway, but a lot more recently. Um, and it made me want to wear this bag again, which I've forgotten, I bloody forgot the name for this bag. Oh, anyway, it'll be linked in the description box. Um, so I've been using this loads. Again, I'm a broken record, but practicality is everything at the moment. So I'm mostly just wearing my crossbody bags or a tote bag if I'm really not making any effort at all. Um, 
I find a crossbody bag always the most practical anyway. And this fits loads and loads and loads in. It's so good. It's so roomy inside. It really opens up a lot. Um, and I really just like how it looks. They also do it in a really big size, which I do love the bigger size of it too. But this is just a really nice grained leather, not too much gold hardware, enough to make it feel a bit exciting, but not so much that you're like, oh my God, that's fancy. Um, it's got the nice handle at the top, but like I said, just wearing crossbody. And the strap, the crossbody strap's so nice and thin and simple. It looks really nice. The actual strap looks really nice across a coat. Um, just love that, just the fact it's really skinny. And again, it's not got loads of things going on on it. It's so simple. Um, so yeah, that, that concludes this fashion report, really. I feel like I've ended that so abruptly. Um, yeah, this mulberry bag. This was sent to me as well. Sorry, I didn't say that, but uh, this was sent to me last year. And it has these like drawstring bits at the side, but mine always come a bit loose. Whereas you could, in theory, have it looking a bit more pinched together all the time. But I do find that mine come a bit loose. Maybe I need to tie them in a knot or something. Um, such a nice little bag. So that is that. I feel like I've absolutely raced through that, but it has been 20 minutes. Um, I'll just make sure. Oh, you're having a little sleep. Come on, say hello to everybody. Here he is. You've been very good and patient while I did this. Oh, nice purring. Um, everything will be the link in the description box. Next week's video will be a vlog. And I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye from us. Goodbye. <laughs>